Today I wanted to make a video showcasing this open source mod that I made. I also have kits available for sale, so if you're interested you can see the link in the description below for both the GitHub and for my Etsy page. This is an RGB LED kit for Game Boy Color with individually addressable uh, LEDs. So right now I have it set up as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and green. Um, the neat thing about this mod is you can adjust the colors on the fly and you can adjust them precisely to whatever you'd like without any external hardware. You don't need Bluetooth, you don't need Wi-Fi, um, you don't need to take it apart. All you have to do is you can press and hold this select button three times. So I press three and I hold. It flashes, letting me know I'm entering the configuration mode. Now the first stage you enter is you enter color selection mode or color mode selection. So the first mode you see here is the user preset. The next option is a solid color. So right now it's green. Uh, the camera doesn't really pick it up that well. And then of course obligatory uh, rainbow mode. And it just fades all the LEDs through the rainbow. So let's go back to the user preset. I'm going to show you how I can change the color of each of these buttons. I'm going to change this power LED from green to purple to complete our rainbow here. I'm going to press and hold three times to confirm our color mode. So now I'm in the edit mode for this specific color mode that we had chosen. And you can see the A button's highlighted. Now the B button. Now the D-pad. Now select, start, and power. So I can use the D-pad to go back and forth. So once I have the one selected, which I want to modify, I can press and hold twice. It's going to flash again. And now I can adjust that color hue to whatever I want. So let me, I'm actually going to go back. You can go left or right. I'm going to go back to purple. I like that shade of purple. If you wanted it a little bit lighter, I like this dark purple. You can press and hold twice, which will take you into the hue selection mode, and you can, or sorry, saturation selection mode, so I could desaturate it, bring it closer to white, and it's hard for you to see on the camera, but, and let's say I want to change the A button now, I press and hold twice again, it takes me back to the button selection mode, so I can go back to the A button, and let's say I want to make this one purple as well, just to add to the theme, I'm going to press and hold twice, whoops. And now I can adjust the hue of this right here. So I'll change that to purple as well. Now, if I want to move on, I'm happy with all the colors for each of the buttons that I picked. I can press and hold three times, and this will take me to the brightness selection mode. It flashes yellow. Now I can increase the brightness, or I can decrease the brightness and turn it off if I want to. I'm just going to do it this brightness so you can see. You can clearly see the different colors. Let me go one more up. And then finally, to confirm your brightness, you can press and hold three times once more, and it will save all the settings and reboot the microcontroller. And these settings do persist through reboots. You can see the same colors load up again. It's all saved to the EEPROM. It's on an ATtiny85 microcontroller. Power draw. Out of the box is about 18 milliamps. Maximum is about 30 milliamps. If that's if you're using white on all buttons and you're using maximum brightness. Um, even with max brightness, white lights, and even with max brightness on the IPS, um, it's it's not going to crash this Game Boy. Maybe with a flash cart, it might be a little too much. But you know, just knock down the brightness of the LEDs. You you don't need it at max brightness anyways to get the really great color effect that you're probably after. Um, the other thing to note is that along the side of the PCB, I've included three solder points. Um, one common thing I see with uh, people putting an IPS in their Game Boy for the first time, uh, one common thing I see is they're asking, how can I solder the wire so it's clean? Um, this particular kit uses those solder points that the newcomers would typically use, so I've relocated them along the PCB. Let me show you now. So here's the PCB. Here's all the cutouts for all the different button contacts. You can see the contacts for the LEDs as well. But if we go over here, this long part goes up to the power LED, 
But right here, we have breakout pads for select A and B. So you can have, um, you know, just as I've shown here, let me see if I can show you through the case, if I can focus. There's, there's no wires at all. And that's because I've relocated them. It's in a really easy to solder place. So anybody can solder the wires here. It's a little bit easier and cleaner than soldering to the vias. Uh, you don't have to do any scraping or anything like that. And this all neatly aligns on the board. There's some vias that you just solder to. Um, it's a really quick install. Um, perhaps I'll do another video later showing the install of this kit. Um, if any of you all are interested in that. I've sent out a few review units to um, some video makers and some friends and things like that. So I'm getting some feedback. Um, that's an earlier firmware version. I'm also trying to sort out any bugs I can. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it is right now. Um, I haven't found any major bugs as of yet. Um, there was one bug when I, when I sent it out where the power LED color wasn't saving. That was just a dumb dumb mistake on my part, but that's all sorted out. Everything else seems to be working totally great. Um, some other features, you can adjust the speed of the rainbow. Oh, here comes my cat. Let's see, you can see her paws. <laughs> they look huge on this, huh? Um, you can adjust the speed of the rainbow fade. Let me see if I could show you that. If I go into the edit mode. And then if I go into the adjustment mode for this color mode, excuse my cat, Now what I can do is I can adjust the speed. So I can slow it down by going right. I think this is the slowest, and you can go even faster. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, go for it. <laughs> or you could save it. I'm going to go to the brightness mode one more time. And go max brightness. Go a little bit down. That looks good. And then I'll save it here. So if you're looking for a, a finishing touch on your Game Boy Color and um, you're thinking about LEDs, consider this kit. You can build it yourself or you could purchase one from me. Um, again, this is all open source, so if you do want to build one yourself and you have the means and interest in doing so and just to see what that's like, I highly encourage it. Um, all the links are in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. All right, take care.